here I got his morning stuff it's actually afternoon he's been in here get up here look at him look here what's going on here bud what's going on here buddy what is this climbing all over me I like you two get around here look here folks the squealer are you squealing get up here 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 you want one of them you're not eating on my head. Get off here. Get up there. He's all worked up. Look at him. He's, he's going for the he's going for the apple. What's going on here, buddy? Alright, well I got score. I'm gonna let him stay out of his cage. He didn't bother too much stuff. Um, I'm gonna go up to the dump where I found the stuff yet the broken beer bottle and that chauffeur badge and them three real nice marbles yesterday and look around see if I can't come up with a video and here's my pet squirrel the big man the squirrel master what's going on buddy and he's hungry look at him squirrel man look he's got the he's been in his cage and he sticks his nose to the bars here and he rubs the fur off his head what a dandy. All right, folks. Later. I'll get back on my first find in the dump. Here it started. Almost broke is. That's one of these Art Deco suits. But this was sticking right out. Look at that. Oh, it's broke. And another Atlas Strong Shoulder Mason. That stinks. But I'm getting down in here. If that's right there. There might be some good stuff back in here. We'll have to see. I'll get it dug out. I was just starting to shovel this off. I don't know if you can see that, but I got a day maker already. I've been here. You saw me start the hole. I've gone this deep. I'm hitting a real nice layer. I got a cork top and boss bottle. That's awesome. But here's some of the stuff I'm finding. Here's a Fort Pitt beer with a label still on it. And I bet you this is from the early 50s by looking at it. Maybe late 40s. 56 1956 here's a really cool ACL bottle look at that bottle how the shape of it I'm gonna take it for the shape and maybe clean off that ACL see it's it just rubs right off but it's some it's something Virginia and you can see it had like a blue big something or I don't know but look here it's a poison bottle and it's cork top and it's amber. Real nice. Real nice, folks. I have this bottle. I've dug it before, but this is a nice, this is a good find. And you can see it's really nice, nice brown, like deep amber. Man. Man. That's cool. I love poison bottles. I don't find a lot of them, but I find them. It's got these ridges on it. It's embossed poison twice. I think the one I have that's this color is a little smaller than this one, so this is a nice addition to the collection. No damage and cork top. Laid up. Uh, I'd say about 10 minutes after that, there's a big rock in there. About 10 minutes after that poison bottle, I got my first marble. Looks to be a cat eye. Yeah, but it's, let me get it wiped off. It's a real unique shape. Laid up. Unique color, but it's all cracked up, so I won't take it. It's just fractured. It'll just, I could probably pop it apart with my fingers. We'll just it up here. I'll get back on my next one. Not all the marbles I find are good enough to frame. Later. You know, I don't have this one either, but it's broke. It's an old break. Morgantown, West Virginia. That's where WVU's at, the university. That's too bad. Um, you can see there's other stuff here. That's a shame on that thing. The handles broke off, an old break. Here's like a thing with a handle on it. It's got that real 
like 30s look to it um some brown medicines and stuff it's slow going i'm having to cut out roots and stuff but hopefully i can find some more stuff later Oh, it's a pretty nice rainbow. Let me get it cleaned off. All right, that's clear base. That's a Marble King St. Mary's West Virginia factory um, from the 1950s. It's nice condition. It's a patch and ribbon, like rainbow. It's nice. Real nice condition. Later. There's a milk bottle right there. Yeah, it looks slick. It is. Dang it. But at least I'm finding milk. I have a chance. I'm giving this way a little bit. I got that marble in that poison bottle. That would have been a day maker. I would have just left if it was embossed up. But I'm not going to stay too much longer. I'll put Squirrel Man on this one. And I will see you on the next one. Later. Check this out back in there. It says Mifflin, M-I-F-F-L-I-N, and it says the Mifflin Chemical Corporation. Huh. I'm going to look a little bit longer. You can see it's really windy, and there's a storm front coming in. Um, that's a mason lid. There's a bunch of rocks and stuff back in here, but I'm making an effort to find a few more things for you guys. Um, I don't know how much more longer I'm going to stay. My shoulder's hurting me today from all this raking. A little bit I'm digging in here. That's where I started. Right in here. I found that poison bottle right off the bat. And I found one marble since. But do you see it? Get another marble. Oh, it's real nice. It's a real pretty green one. Um, that's a good one for the frame. Looks like it's a, it almost glows. Huh, that's pretty nice. Well, I'm digging in this Ross layer. I'll do a little bit more and then I'm going to get out of here. I got that nice poison bottle. I got a bunch of other bottles. I've been finding milks, but they're slick. This one says something can't, and can't know on the bottom. I'll take it. Um, I got this DuPont chemical bottle nothing great but i'm looking in here a little bit more later all right i'm getting ready to get out of here i did a lot of digging you can see up through there all down in here um didn't find a lot of stuff today a few things you know got some of these old hair care products that's all embossed up it's worth a few bucks some cool bottles anyway just a few um i don't even know where some of the yeah, there, there was some older ones. See, that's an old paneled embossed medicine that would have been nice, but it's broke. Figures, huh? Would have been real nice. Um, it even says stuff on the side. But, too bad. Chemicals, brown chemicals, and, you know, I got one of these Foley and Company bottles. But nothing real good but this. A poison bottle and I'll get it cleaned up and there's two marbles in there you probably see them down in there um, two decent ones for that frame see there's like you know some big cork top whiskeys and stuff one cord it says but I'll probably well I don't even know if I'm gonna take that milk but more of these things with the grapes on it and I have some of them at the house I won't take it I'll take this Foley bottle and this hair care product um, I don't even take this blue bottle, but that's probably about all I'm taking. But, you know, this is several hours of digging, and I just don't feel like going there more, so I will get back to you on the next time. I'll shave Squirrel Man a lot on this video later. All right, this is the brown poison bottle I just found, and here's, I must have the other brown one that I found at my house. I'll show it in the next clip. I'm at my mom's. There's a blue three-sided poison. Check out that smoker. I dug that on the dump where I found that Charlie McCarthy spoon in like one of my last videos. But you can see these are awesome bottles. Look how, look at the color on them. That's crazy.
they're nice. Um, real nice condition on the one today. I'm happy to get it. But uh, this will be it on this one. I'll see Squirrel Man for a little bit next. He's been in the house. I guess I've been gone like three hours, so he'll be happy to see me. Um, nice bottles, nice color. Later. Poison bottle on the bottom, it's almost yellow. Look, they're totally different colors. One's real honey colored, and one's the one from today on the top's real dark. So, man, that was a good haul. Even though I found one cool bottle with two marbles all day, and I guess I was there three hours when I looked at my clock. And you can see they're slightly different. This one's got just slightly different ridges on it. You can see the bottoms. Six, six, seven, seven. Let's see what this. Six, uh, see, it's di they're different. They're like a different year or something, but man, they're really different color. This one I found on the dump where. Let me think. Where I found that uh, blue one, where I found the Charlie McCarthy spoon the other day. But man, look how much darker this one is. That's cool for my collection. That's very cool. Here you can kind of see him again, but this will be it on this one. I might chase Squirrel Man a minute more and give, give him some treats again. But I'm happy to get that. That's a cool find. Later, fake. Look here. It's the Kiwi Master. I'm back home now from the dump. All I found was two marbles and a poison bottle. But you saw the clips of the poison bottle. It's different than the one I have, so I love it. It's a different color. It's going to look nice displayed. I got that blue one too, but I give it to my mom. Somebody loves the. Was you looking for Kiwi? Was you looking for Kiwi? Look at this. He just skinned it. That's not more kiwi. It's right here. I see you. Get it. Look at this good boy, folks. We gonna play? After you eat your kiwi? Huh? He just loves them kiwis. He just loves them. You love them, don't you? And they're nice and cold from being in the fridge. He lucked out. Me finding him. What's this? Just throwing it down on the floor? You gonna do it? You gonna do it? What? Here. There's more kiwi right there. You'll eat the rest of it. There's still meat on there. <laughs> He'd eat a whole kiwi if I'd give it to him today. I can tell he's hungry. He's got some apple where he likes it too, and he likes grapes. He squirrels like fruit, don't you? You like it. I'll give you a little extended cut of him here since I didn't find as much. Look, he's going back for some more. And now you're climbing on me now, huh? You're climbing on me now. Get up there. It looks like he wants me to hold him and stuff, so I'm going to have to play with the Squirrel Master, it looks like. Am I going to have to play with you today? Because you're going wild. You're going wild. I found this old boy outside for all you new people that have subscribed this month. And he was on the ground and his eyes were shut and it was a chilly day and he was wet and it was raining. So I brought him home and fed him. You can feed him puppy milk formula. And he made it. And he's a wild man. He thinks I'm his dad. What, you're all tangled up. Are you tangled up? Look at him. This is what he wants, he wants me to play with him and wrestle, hand wrestle. You wanna wrestle? You're getting whipped. You're getting whipped, Chapo. There, he's going for some apple now. You had enough, getting whipped on? Alright folks, this will be it on this one. I hope everybody's doing alright. I'll get back out. As, I'm going to try to arrowhead hunt tomorrow. The water's going down, so I'll try to find some points or something. Later.